cheese curds, fried food on a stick, and of course, sweet Martha's cookies are top of mind right now. That's because today is the start of the great Minnesota get together. News 19's Crystal Flintrop was on the fairgrounds today with a look at some of the attractions. Well, I have to say, it wouldn't be the state fair without it raining, and that's what's happening right now. And because of that, people are heading inside to the many buildings throughout the state fairgrounds here. And we're in my personal favorite, the agriculture building. And when you walk inside, the first thing that you see is this beautiful display, the centerpiece. This year's theme is a cultural kaleidoscope. And joining us to share just a little bit more about that is the head designer, Corey. So, Corey, tell me a little bit about this centerpiece and kind of what it took to, to create this. Yeah, yeah. So this year our theme was uh, kind of cities and places of the world. And so for our center this year, we went with Japan. And so we have a giant cherry tree that's blossoming right now. It took about 3,500 stems individually with over 10,000 individual petals actually inside of the tree. And so another designer and myself spent over a solid week building that tree this year to make that happen here in the middle. Now this is one of the more popular buildings on the grounds here, I think. At least that's what I've been told. Yeah. Um, so why is it so important to just kind of show the, the beauty of the agricultural world to the people that travel through this building? You know, I mean, Minnesota is such a huge agricultural state, and so here at the State Fair we want to make sure that people can really get a, a piece of that when they come in here. So not only do we have these big vignettes and these big um, eye-catching places where you can come in and get a picture, but inside the building as well we have all the different departments that showcase Minnesota's great ag. We have the veggie potato um, room where amateurs come to compete, the giant pumpkins in there. We have the amateur bee and honey um, exhibit with live honey bees. Uh, the bee beard happens multiple times during the day, as well as our flower shows that change out every other day also. So we just want people to come in, um, see the beauty that we've put together, but also then learn a little bit about the agriculture we have here in Minnesota. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now, those aren't the only things that you can find in this building. Some of my favorites, the apples. We talk about the honey crisp apple. That's my favorite. The Christmas trees. I know a lot of people are waiting for that big day, and we got a chance to peek out the best Christmas trees for this year. So with that, I'm going to have to send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Crystal. Having a lot of fun there. The fair is on now through Labor Day.